do you have threads that you love to use on your needlepoint projects? You know, the ones that you use over and over and over again. I know I do. And I also have some threads that I'm not so crazy about using. And one of those happens to be DMC Pearl Cotton number three, or so I thought until we got a note from one of our followers asking why I don't like DMC Pearl Cotton number three. Apparently I mentioned it at some point in the past, maybe it was here on Needlepoint TV or somewhere else, but that doesn't really matter. What that did was it prompted me to stop and think, what was it about DMC Pearl Cotton number three that I don't like? So that's what this episode of Needlepoint TV is all about. If you're new to Needlepoint TV, welcome. I'm Ellen Johnson. I'm going to be your host today. Thanks for taking the time to pop in and watch. And let's dive in. DMC Pearl Cotton number three is a non-divisible thread. That means it's created for you to stitch with one strand. Now it's two ply. That means two, two plies are twisted together to create that single strand. Um, it's a sort of a it has a very tight twist. Let me put it that way. Very tight twist. And that gives it sort of a bumpy look when it's stitched into your canvas. And that's the main reason that I'm not such a huge fan of it. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I used it. And I did do a little test sample of um, of the thread on a piece of 13 mesh canvas. And I'm going to show that to you right now so you can see. You can see this is the DMC Pearl Cotton number three. This is 13 mesh canvas and uh, again, a single strand. It gives you full coverage. Um, it's a great thread for that. This is, um, uh, by contrast, Mandarin Floss. So this is multiple strands of Mandarin Floss, which is a stranded thread. I, I want to say this is probably, on this size canvas, this is probably six strands. Um, five or six strands of mandarin floss as opposed to a single strand of um, DMC Pearl Cotton number three. So you can see you get really good coverage on 13 mesh canvas. It's a good thread for beginners because you do only have to use a single strand of thread. This thread, the DMC Pearl Cotton, also comes in sizes five, eight, and 12. And that means that um, you've got a variety of different sizes that you can use to achieve a variety of different kinds of coverage on different sizes of mesh canvas. So my use for size five is for full coverage, just like this on 18 mesh canvas. Um, the others, the eight and 12, I use more for accent or light coverage threads, but um, the two workhorses, in my opinion, for needlepoint are size three for 13 mesh canvas and size five for 18 mesh canvas. As of the filming of this episode of Needlepoint TV, there are 292 colors of pearl cotton number three. Um, I know that there are over 400 of DMC six strand cotton embroidery floss, so that tells you that there is some difference between the thread lines, but the beauty is that they're dyed to match. So if you had a DMC um, pearl cotton number three, for example, this one, let me pull this up and, and show you. This is, um, this is number 973. There is a matching DMC cotton embroidery floss that I'd be willing to bet is spot on as a match for this particular color. And there may be a slight variation because of dye lot differences, but because DMC has been in the thread dyeing business for a long time, they have their color recipes down pretty good. And you don't see a whole lot of variation between dye lots in, in this particular thread line, whether it's the pearl cotton line or their six strand cotton embroidery floss. So that's, um, again, that's a, a big advantage. All DMC cotton threads are mercerized. That means it goes through a chemical process that is designed to make it stronger and it also makes it less likely to shrink. In addition to that, it makes it more receptive to dye, which is the reason you get such brilliant colors. You can see here, two, here are two skeins. This is again, um, that yellow I showed you earlier. And then this is a green, this is number 704. So that you can tell the colors are really bright. They're so vivid and clear. And that mercerization process is part of the reason that that um, is the case with these threads. To work with the skein of DMC Pearl Cotton number three, um, you're going to need to cut it because it is in a big giant loop. And in order to cut it, what you do is you slide the labels to the center. So slide them both to the middle and you'll see that you have a loop, a big loop up here and two small loops down here at the bottom. 
I guess you can, let me fix that so you can see it a little bit better. So you have two small loops at the bottom. And what you'll do is you'll cut both of those loops and that'll give you about a 19 inch piece of thread that you can work with. And then once you've um, cut those two loops, you can push these back out to the ends again and then choose one strand, pick one strand, just like this and just pull it out and thread it into your needle. So I've already cut uh, strands of, of the thread and you can see um, you just pull out a single strand and thread it up. This is what this is a this is the thickness of this of the DMC Pearl Cotton size three. So it's um, it gives you again full coverage on 13 mesh canvas as a single strand when you're working in tent stitch. And it also gives you full coverage on 18 mesh canvas if you're working um, a, a straight stitch, a true vertical stitch or a true horizontal stitch. And so I want to share an example of that with you as well. I stitched a little sample up so you could see how that looks too. So here's an example of the brick stitch worked in DMC Pearl Cotton number three on 18 mesh canvas. You can see that the coverage is truly complete. There's no canvas peeking through, but it does have a bumpier texture than say this Splendor that's worked directly above it. Splendor is a stranded silk thread. It has a pretty sheen to it as well, but the stranded um, part of the thread or the that feature of the thread does make it look more smooth or does make your stitches look more smooth. This definitely does have that that tendency to look a little bit bumpy. One thing I did learn when working with this thread again or testing it out again was that you want to make sure that you keep a short tail in the eye of the needle. In other words, let me let me show you real quickly. So I'm using a size 22 tapestry needle, which is what I typically use on 13 mesh canvas. And when I thread it through the eye like this, I'm going to make sure that I don't use or don't leave a really long tail like this, and then slide the, the thread through the eye of the needle as I'm working my stitches. I wanna keep the, the tail short for the entire time that I'm working with this thread. And the reason is that the eye of the needle is sharp and it actually cuts away at this thread, making it fuzzy at the place where the eye of the needle or where the thread rests in the eye of the needle. So you, you do better, you have less waste in the long run when you work with a short tail like this. And um, again, this is gonna give you, when you cut one of these skeins, this is gonna give you about a 19 inch long piece of thread. I typically recommend 15 to 18 inches. So usually what I'll do is I'll cut off about an inch that may seem wasteful, but in the long run, it really isn't because you want to make sure that your stitches look nice. You don't want to end up with um, thread that looks fuzzy because you've used it for too long. It's been through the canvas mesh too many times. I mean, there are all kinds of things that happen when, when your thread passes through the canvas mesh multiple times. It can be damaged in any number of ways. Um, because this is a cotton thread, it uh, and it is mercerized, it is strong, but it does have a sheen to it that will wear off the more you pass it through the canvas mesh. So you could have sections of your canvas where um, you have the thread looks more shiny and other places where it looks more dull, which is the reason I do um, cut off just a little bit on the end. So um, I do like to keep my, my threads, my pieces of thread, again, like I said, between 15 and 18 inches long. If you notice that your thread is tangling up on you some, then what you will want to do is to remember to take your, your frame that you're working on and hold it up um, and let your needle un, untwist or let the thread untwist. Um, you, if you're working on a stand, then you know you can just let go of the needle and the needle will untwist and the thread will, will relax some back into its natural state. So um, that's just a little tip to make sure that you don't run into the problem. Sometimes this thread does have a little bit of a tendency to kink up on itself because it is so tightly twisted and you can get those little knots in it and that's kind of frustrating. So just you know, remember to every now and then, every few stitches, say every five to seven stitches, drop your needle and let it untwist. Or if you're working on a frame and you're just holding it in your hand, and then um, you know you can just turn your frame over and, and let it untwist. So each skein of DMC Pearl Cotton number three has 16.4 yards, which is a pretty decent uh, quantity. So that makes it 
really quite economical because it's not a terribly expensive thread. Another advantage is that it's pretty easy to find. Um, it used to be very widely available in the big box craft stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I don't know that it is um, as available as it used to be, but there are an awful lot of independent needlework shops that do carry both sizes of DMC Pearl Cotton, the most common ones for needlepoint, size five and size three. So check with your local needlework shop if you're looking for this thread, if you'd just like to try it out, because it does, um, I, I would say yes, do try it out, um, especially if you're a beginner, because it is a single strand thread. Um, you don't have to divide it. You don't have to use a laying tool. It's a super easy thread to learn how to do needlepoint with. And so um, for those reasons, I'm going to consider using it in some of my projects in the not too distant future. Um, again, like I said, I, I'm not a huge fan of the texture that it creates if I want something that looks really smooth, but if I'm trying to create some texture, then this is definitely a good thread for that purpose. So there you have it, DMC Pearl Cotton number three. Not as bad as I remembered it being, so I am going to give it a try again. All righty, my friend, that's a wrap for Needlepoint TV this week. Thanks ever so much for taking the time to pop in and watch. I appreciate it and wonderful you so very much. Until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.